Okay, so this is Jürgen from Shining. I'm gonna show you my favorite ever musical exercise. It's a short one, it takes one minute exactly. You come up with one A part, and you play it a bit, and then you come up with another B part, you know, kind of you make this up, and then you gotta remember the A part because you're morphing the B part into the A part again. You end with the A part, and at the end of the little, you know, this piece, you're gonna hit the one minute mark. So you're gonna end exactly at one minute. <clears throat> this exercise is a lot of fun and it also helps you with a lot of stuff that the ordinary technical exercises does not. Uh, this will help you, um, help you get a better understanding of musical uh, contrasts that you're going to use when you compose music and also when you improvise it's going to help you come up with musical ideas on the fly that are good it's going to help you remember musical ideas and musical phrases and musical elements it's going to help you get a better and more realistic understand uh, feeling of the flow of time and uh, so like if you're improvising you think it's been a, a minute usually it's been only 45 seconds and also when you're on the stage you tend to play stuff faster than you than they're really supposed to be so this will help you you know kind of calibrate that stuff um, and it will also help you be able to act, actually practice making music which is uh, which is something that you know that I would have been missing when I've been you know rehearsing scales and shit so this is a really amazing uh, little piece of exercise that you can do on sax piano but you can also do it on drums on anything vocals it doesn't really matter because it's not a technical thing it's a musical and mind thing um, so like I said I'm gonna come up with an A part and then I'm gonna you know come up with a B part and it's supposed to be contrasting which means that uh, the elements I'm gonna use is going to be contrasting compared to the A part so if the A part is high you know, high, um, high, high pitches. The EV part should be could be low, like. B part. Uh, it could be A part could be loud, and you know, the B part could be fa faint and soft. B part. Yeah, it could be, you know, f B part could be fast, B uh, A part could be fast, B part could be slow, like. B part. Um, yeah, A part could be sad, B part could be happy. A part, B part. A part could be dense, a lot of tone uh, notes, and the B part could be a lot of open space. So. B part. Yeah, it could be big intervals, small intervals, so big intervals. A part could be melodic, B part could be rhythmic, so A part. Yeah, 
etc. So I'm going to come up with some parts uh, and then um, uh, try to do this whole exercise. I'm going to start the timer now. Are you ready? That's a minute. I'm gonna do one more so you can see that I'm actually making this shit up. Here we go. Uh, no. There we go. <laughs> So there you, there you go, that's my favorite ever musical exercise. It's uh, super quick, takes a minute, then you could do it 30 times, so it takes 30 minutes. It'll help you uh, immensely with the composition, improvisation, uh, organizing musical ideas, um, remembering musical ideas, coming up with good ideas on the fly. It's just the best musical, it's the best way of practicing music instead of technique. And you also practice technique at, at the same time. So, good luck.